created this almost as a side project, but then nine months later, millions of dollars worth of tickets were appealed and um, over 180,000 tickets were successfully overturned. And this made me realize that this issue of helping people with the law is bigger than just parking fines. So I expanded to flight delays, um, PPI compensation in the UK, and now um, property. So you can fight your landlord if um, they're not repairing the property or they're keeping your security deposit. First, it asks you a few questions about your ticket to find out exactly what's wrong. For example, it will ask you, was the parking bay too small, or was it hard to understand the signs? Once it knows the legal issue, it then takes down details and then places these details into a legally sound appeal, which can be sent directly to the local authorities. We're not yet at the point, I don't think, where that technology translates into an industrial scale use across, certainly across our firm or across our industry. Um, so, so just on the basis of simple automation, uh, we think that there's still quite a long way to go before um, just the simplest of processes uh, can become automated. Our general conception of um, automation as lawyers is that it takes away the burdensome, uh, what we term with the low end sort of more tedious activity uh, and empowers lawyers to focus on um, what they've been trained to do. So it takes some of that drudgery away from them. I think my robot lawyer is not going to be arguing in the um, High Court or Supreme Court anytime soon. But the law is all about information and rules, and I think that's perfect for technology. Um, I started by creating a robot lawyer, but if one day I can have um, the world's largest robot law firm, that would be amazing too.